This is Bob with Hedis World with another RV upgrade. Not another, Bob. Another upgrade. <laughs> and this is only because from the very beginning we didn't really care for it. We love the oven. Yep. The oven is awesome. It's It works fantastic. What we don't like is this crappy Furion cooktop. It's got three burners. And the burners are so close together when you're trying to cook with even two pots. It's they're, difficult. They're, 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 you're sliding one to side. It's got this big, large burner here. So if you need to use a larger burner, you got to use a larger pot. And also it's, it's encroaching on the other burners. And I find it very hard to control the propane amount that comes out. Yeah, it's either on or off. It yeah. has very little regulation on, on the gas flow unless you go all the way down to the bottom. So what we're going to do, what we bought off of Amazon was a new 30 inch cooktop, which is going to involve me cutting this counter out a little bit. It's actually a five burner. It's actually got real heavy duty cast iron, not these real floppy rubber yeah. held down things. This one's hard to clean also, even though I clean it very well all the time, I feel like it always looks dirty and I hate that. Our upgrade is going to be to uh, put our new five burner in here, cut this out. I'm going to reinforce this countertop glue in some two by twos in here to re reinforce this back here this is a vent for the oven which i'm going to have to build a new box and uh build this back in here so that's what we're going to work on today all right so stay tuned we're bob and barb we've lived by the rules all of our lives but in 2020 we threw that rule book out the window we sold our home and moved full time into an rv with our cat amelia and from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? So right now, I currently have the old cooktop out. This is the Furion oven. These are the gas lines that run to it. This is the gas line that ran through the cooktop, the old cooktop. This is a vent that, if you remember, mounted back here. It actually tucks in back of the oven. That vents the oven to extract heat. So this will have to be moved back to here. And I will have to get some uh, some thin tin and uh, create another box so I can extend this up. So this will vent up here. And then this vent will go back on top of here to uh, allow the oven to vent separate from the cooktop. I fitted everything to make sure that this gas valve is gonna work. This is the new gas valve. This is gonna fit the new um, line perfectly. Did, and you, did we determine that the cooktop did not have any electrical power to it? Uh, I don't know how it ignites the old one. It must have a battery or something. It doesn't have 12 volts. The oven has 12 volts on the igniter, but uh, I don't know how sure how the cooktop gets because it doesn't have it. The new cooktop does run off AC, so I will cut me a hole here, small two inch hole with the hole saw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one here and we're gonna come up to this AC power. I'm just gonna plug in there. So it's gonna be underneath. You're not gonna see it. It runs off uh, 120 volts. If we were boondocking and we need to light this and we didn't have 120 volts, all we gotta do is light it with a, with a uh, lighter. Lighter. The lighter worked fine on it. So our next cut in will probably be, I'll be marking this off with a marker and then we'll get the jigsaw and we'll cut this out. None of this is supported from the factory except this very front lip, which I'm not gonna cut this lip out. This back is not supported till way back here. The sides aren't supported at all. It's up against the cabin. The cabin's not tied to it, but I will glue in, like I said, some two by twos in here to support this countertop, just so that the additional weight doesn't hurt anything in cutting out some of this material. And we're not adding too much weight because the cooktop is light on its own. It's the, yeah, it's, the it's grates are a little it's bit. It's probably adding about 20 pounds, maybe yep, because the grates it's, got, are a little bit it's heavier. got some more professional grates instead of these little tiny little things yep. that for your own good. But this is, like he said, something we're doing because we like to cook and yeah. we, yeah, yeah, we, we use our, it a lot. We want our professional kitchen to look like our professional kitchen. Yep. So that's what we're trying to do. And we will probably eventually get a piece of stainless steel for up here. Yep. Just, I mean, this is not getting greasy. And we got this vent up here. I talked about getting a vent maybe and- um, Kind of making like a little- Yeah, going to like Habitat for Humanity, a recycled uh, hood and then cut it down and make it Look just like yeah, a little, so a little in there. Vent. We do recommend maybe putting something up there. I do wipe down that ceiling every time. We've only had trouble once where, you know how when you cook, things go pop, 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 pop. Um, 
it did it did pop up to the ceiling and I was like oh my god and I wiped it off right away but it's something to be aware of if you don't put something up there to make sure you wipe it down yep. ready to go measure twice cut once you know, all heard of that but to say I made multiple measurements so this is gonna give us enough room still to put our vent back here across the back tied into the oven so these are our lines right here and they give you they give you a nice little cutout block so and we are not putting it under the counter and we are not sinking it into the counter we are going to have it it's yeah it's going to be flush mount it's because not be counter side. because i don't know if you can see i'm very funny about cleaning but the other one laid in here and it laid in here like right here so there was always a gap and you couldn't, well, you you couldn't see, clean it you can see the dirt it just you can't get the dirt out because you got to yeah. lift the oven or the cooktop out of yeah. it coming one mess so with it. we are not messy people i just want everyone to know that <laughs> and it will be much cleaner and more sanitary after this that's for sure so on the next cutback we'll have this all cut out for you There it is. What's next now, Bob? Well, we gotta cut, we're gonna have to cut this cabinet down a little bit. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna put some reinforcement blocks back in here. Even though the factory didn't they didn't have anything supporting this at all. Um, because this cabinet was not even attached. But I will I will put some two by twos. I'm gonna glue them in place on both sides. This front's already supported because I cut right up against the rib. And this back, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit out to fit our, Grill, our right. exhaust fan yeah. in there for the oven. So this will have to be cut out a little bit. And I think the factory doesn't heavily support this because it's um, lightweight. Well, it's I mean it's it's a half inch thick. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. They just they just cut weight where they can on these RVs to uh, cut down weight, gross weight on them. All right. Now I'm Norm from this old house. You know how every time Norm put something together, it fit right the first time. No edits or outtakes. No. <laughs> so this, is, this is how it's gonna fit. And look at that. I mean, just look how beautiful it is and how nice it is. And it's going to clean good, so. I'm very happy. Fits, fits in with the oven really yep. nice. And then to give you kind of like a... Like I said, it gives us lots of room for our pots to fit. Yeah, they're not going to touch each other. Uh, even in the center, they have the grates that are on it, but it even has a raised one there. Yeah, just, for, a large, for your large pots. Yeah, just to make it better, so... And you got uh, actually you got three different sizes. You got these, or four different sizes. You got these two, this one, a tiny one. Yep. And then you got this large the one in the one. center. So good job so far, Bob. Get her done. Get her done. <laughs> A little behind the scenes of the animal in the wild yeah. as he works on his project. We got the cutout. We got the cabinet cutout. Uh, I got this cutout for this vent. Um, I got two cleats, uh, two by twos glued in here just to support this counter. The factory didn't have any counter support on there, but I'm just putting it in here because this is a little heavier uh, cooktop by about 20 pounds. Uh, my next project is I have to go to the hardware store. I gotta buy some uh, tin. I gotta connect this back up to here where it was. So I gotta cut this out and make a little box with some tin and some um, sheet metal screws. And I'll wrap it with some aluminum tape so our oven can still vent in the old factory vent. By now, the hardest thing to date is building this vent for the oven. If you remember, this vent came straight up, came straight into here. 
So I had to buy some tin, which I, I bought a no smoking aluminum sign, <laughs> and cut it down, formed it around here, made a box. So we travel up through here, we come right up through here, and it's all covered up. I've used uh, the uh, aluminum duct tape so it'll take the heat. So that's going to fit down in here. Be screwed in right like that and then of course this will it's back in there this will go back into its factory position cook up will go in place all right that looks so great so that's far where we're at right now i was just wanting to show you guys this uh once this completed project's done that all the burners are burning and this is a huge upgrade to our kitchen. We did actually use four burners at the same time the other day, which with our three burner, Furion, it was hard to even get two pots on that because of the design. It was too large, uh, a pan and a pot. It just would bump up against each other. So this is a huge upgrade for our camper since Barb and I like to cook. So Bob, it's been about five months since we put this project yep. in. Why don't you share your thoughts on everything now? I'll just go over a little overview on the project itself. If you don't feel comfortable messing with uh, LP, or if you're not comfortable with a jigsaw, it's probably not the project for you. It was actually, when it come down to it, it was actually a pretty simple project. Um, I did have to jigsaw the counter out and I did have to glue in some cleats just to, you know, to help support it. Um, I did have to take the lines loose off the old cooktop. I shut the bottle gas off outside so we didn't have any problems with that. Um, this cooktop did, the fitting was the exact fitting with the uh, existing gas line. So that worked out real well. I did, I pressure tested this with uh, bottles of uh, soap water and I held it in my hand and I made sure that there was no gas leaks at all on this line. You do that because you're looking for bubbles to pop up because if you have bubbles that pop up that means that you've got a leak. We, we pressure test it several times to make sure it does mm -hmm. come with natural gas and LP um, nozzles and I did play around with those and all they are is little brass screw-in nozzles um, they're different sizes, so it gives you a different flame pattern. So I did, uh, I did mix up a couple just to get our flame to where we want, felt comfortable with the flame. He played with it a lot to make sure it was right where it needed to be and it was safe. Yeah, so that was the big thing, was just making sure that we had no gas leaks. And so far, after five months, this thing has been rock solid. It works great. Uh, we boondocked once or twice and we actually had to light it with the lighter which it worked perfectly um, it does run off 120 volts on the igniter side if you need to, to uh, ignite it or if you don't want to hook up electric or you don't have electric available you can light it with a lighter with no problem it's very easy to light but as far as cooking on it it's been perfect I mean I, it's, I love it I yeah. mean it makes me very happy I have plenty of room to do whatever I want and the right amount of yeah we've done some canning uh, so where we have a big pressure cooker and we put it in the center and it does it uh, power to boil a big giant pot probably who, a five six gallon who else uh cans and pressurizes inside their rv yep comment below <laughs> <laughs> yeah we love it and it's it's worked out very well for us so if you are uncomfortable doing this type of work or aren't you know as handy when it comes to dealing with stuff like propane then i am by no means a professional <laughs> um we recommend that you don't do it if you're not comfortable with it you know it's not something that you want to mess with and if you want to have it changed then you might want to hire someone to do it yep so we hope that you like this video bob and i both enjoy doing all the upgrades we've yes, been doing we do. to our home and making it perfect for us so please give us a thumbs up yep. please subscribe Please click that notification bell so you can be notified. Our subscribers, more and more of them are watching every single video. We see it growing in our algorithms. The people who are watching also all the time that aren't subscribing, just click that button. It doesn't cost you any money. You know, click of the mouse. And you can or watch click the, the videos finger. that you like. If you prefer RV improvements, RV life, 
K&M rides, whatever. Watch the ones that you like if that's what makes you happy. Yeah. So like, uh, subscribe, get notified, comment below. And remember, we're Headless World. Come travel in our world. Bye.